living here where rockets blast off and so many bright minds are here at NASA. We're excited about space all the time. Other parts of the world just don't have it like we do. There's a lot to talk about. The Space Coast also inspires so many to become astronauts. In this week's episode of Space Curious, our new podcast, we're talking about our fascination with those fortunate explorers we call astronauts, an elite class of humans who have trained for years for space flight. Podcast host and News 6 space reporter Emily Speck joins us now. And Emily, you got a chance to talk to a retired astronaut about space living. So tell us more about Terry Vertz. So Terry Burtz is, like you said, a retired NASA astronaut. Uh, over his career, he flew on the space shuttle. He also flew on the Soyuz spacecraft, the Russian spacecraft, and spent over seven months on the International Space Station. This is such a cool topic, and I'm so excited to check it out further. What was the inspiration for doing this episode? So we kind of went a little meta on this one because <laughs> even though the show is about questions, this whole episode is basically about questions. <laughs> so um, during the Crew Dragon launch with Bob and Doug that we saw earlier this summer, they got asked a ton of just interesting questions by journalists like myself, but then just from the general public. Like, how was the Crew Dragon bathroom? What did they have for breakfast? What are their families going through? And it kind of made me think, what's it like to be on the other astronauts. side of that? And why do we ask some of these questions? What's our fascination with astronauts? And what are some things maybe that astronauts have to deal with that maybe those of us, you know, chilling out down here on Earth don't think about? Well, one of my favorite things that Terry Burtz told me is kind of the sounds of the space station that and the Earth sounds that he missed. Um, for example, you know, in the intro of the show, we talk about one weekend he and his fellow crew members created a rainstorm of sound using the laptops on the space station. So you don't think about that, but you're going to miss, you know, the bird sounds mm -hmm. and the nature sounds. And so he would fall asleep listening to that kind of stuff. And so that's something that you don't really necessarily think you would miss, but when you're talking about a vacuum of space, you don't have a whole lot of, of noise. Um, but that was, that was one of my favorite things that he told me. You also got to talk to some other space journalists for this episode. Tell us more about that and, and their chance to talk to Bob and Doug. Yeah, absolutely. And so, like myself, um, my two other space journalists that were on this episode, I spoke to a reporter from The Atlantic and our local space reporter from WMFE, Brendan Byrne. And they both kind of talked to me about some of the things and why we ask this stuff and why we're so fascinated with astronauts. And part of the reason we ask these humanizing questions like about the bathroom and what they eat and their families is because it's relatable. I mean, we can all relate to that stuff. So it was pretty interesting. But at the end of the day, one of the things that stuck out to me the most is that we also have to recognize that these astronaut families are heroes themselves. And nobody chooses to have their dad as an astronaut or their mom as an astronaut. And so they're really heroes as well. And when it comes to you know, heroes in the eyes of children as well. What, what mm -hmm. sort of reactions and questions do they get the most from, from children? Well, so according to Terry Verts, kids really do ask the best questions. And sometimes adult journalists ask a lot of kid-like questions too, <laughs> and those can be pretty fun. Uh, you know, he said they're always asking about aliens, and sometimes they'll ask him how much money he makes. But they're also asking some very deep, you know, astrophysics questions and some things they're learning about in class. So he's been really, really impressed over the years. And he does a lot of public speaking, so, you know, he interfaces with the general public quite a lot. All right, space journalist Emily Speck, thank you so much for joining us. Can't wait to check out that episode. And the newest episode on astronauts is live right now. Go to clickorlando.com slash space. Episodes are out every other Wednesday. And you can download podcasts from wherever you like to get them or just go to clickorlando.com slash podcasts.